हेलो एवरी वन गुड मॉर्निंग दिस इज किरण बगोत्रा वेलकम टू इन माई चैनल इन अवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी डिस्कस अबाउट द ऑइल सीड प्लांट ऑफ ऑलिव ऑयल इन इन अवर टू डेज लेक्चर वी डिस्कस अबाउट द ऑइल सीड प्लांट ऑफ जेट्रोफा यू नो एज द जेट्रोफा इज अ ऑयल सीड प्लांट इन दे आर मोस्ट ऑफली यूज फॉर दिस बायोडीजल सो दे आर द पर्पज ऑफ दिस बायोडीजल वी कल्टिवेटेड द मोस्ट ऑफ दिस जेट्रोफा स्पीसीज first of all we discuss about the origin and history it means the when the time they are the cultivated in the which area the zetrofa is the wonder plant it is the native to mexico and central america it is originated in the caribbean from where it is carried is a valuable husk plant to africa and asia by the portuguese trader it means generally the jetrofa is a wonder plant it means they are the grow uh, in the rainy season and they are the native from the mexico and central american plant it grow in in the tropical and subtropical area including the india africa and the north america in the india it is grown in this many parts so they are the origin and history of this jetrofa plant they first of all they are the originate in the caribbean and then they is a most of the grow in the tropical and subtropical region and they are also grown in this sham region of this india then we discuss about next is this botanical description so the first of all the zetrofa plant there is a common name of zetrofa then the scientific name is zetrofa circus and they belongs to the family of u4 bsc you already discuss and learn about the u4 bsc family of this the whole vegetative and floral character in bsc semester 3 so the zetrofa is a 175 species it is belong to the family u4 bsc and the plant are succulent shrub and tree in the zetrofa circus is a deciduous species it has a smooth gray bark it means generally the 175 species occurrence of this zetrofa genus then they are belong to the family of u4 bsc and the plant is a succulent succulent shrub and tree it means the succulent means they are the plant in these the stem is a store of water and there is a no leaves or either the present of the leaves they are the small quality of leaves so the which shrub and tree plant stem they are the storage of water they are the known as the succulent plant and the also jetrofa is a deciduous species it means they are the shedding shedding its the leaves annually they leaf is a they tree is a shedding position they like of this oak tree and they has a bark is a smooth bark and gray color the tree are a deciduous the leaves fall down during the dry season the mature tree are small generally 3 to 5 meters in height and if condition are favorable it can attain a height of this 10 meters and it is the large green to pale green leaves it means the generally the plant is a deciduous plant in the after the dry season the leaves are a fall down in this ground and the generally the height is a 3 to 5 meter and so they are the generally tree plant and after the condition is a favorable so their height is a 10 to 10 meter the leaf is a generally large green to pale green color and the arrange the pilotexy it means the arrangement of these leaves they are either the alternate it means they are arranged in a same manner alternate position and the sub opposite the leaves are spirally arranged on this stem they are 3 to 5 lobed the petiole in 6 to 23 mm in length the leaves bear the axillary inflorescence which are either male or female it means generally in some plant the male flower and female flower are different plants so they known as the dioecious but in this sometime the male and female flower they are presence in this one plant so they known as the monoecious and generally the flower arise in the axillary it means they are the terminal position the flowering occur during the wet season the may to september and they are the two flowering peaks it means generally the plant are growing and after the flower are 
अराइज इन द मे टू सप्टेंबर मंथ एंड इन दिस पीरियड द फ्लावर आर पिकिंग द टू टाइम्स इफ द एटमोस्फियर इज अ परमिनेंटली ह्यूमिड द फ्लावरिंग करेंस थ्रू आउट द इयर इट मीन्स के वेन द टेम्परेचर आर प्रोवाइड द वैट इट मीन्स दे आर द मॉइस्चर एंड ह्यूमिड कंटेंट सो द फ्लावरिंग अकर्स इन द होल इयर इन द फ्लावर आर पोलिनेटेड बाय द इंसेक्ट लाइक द हनी बीज के हनी बीज दे आर द यूजफुल फॉर दिस फर्टिलाइजेशन द फ्रूट आर प्रोड्यूस इन द विंटर सीजन ऑफ जुलाई टू नवम्बर इट मीन्स जनरली द मे टू सप्टेम्बर दे आर द वेट सीजन कि इन दिस पीरियड द फ्लावर आर अराइज एंड आफ्टर द कम्पलीशन ऑफ दिस वेट सीजन द विंटर सीजन दे आर द जुलाई टू नवम्बर देन द फ्रूट आर फॉर्मेशन वेन द श्रब इज अ लिफलेट के आफ्टर द लिफ आर रिमूव दिस पोर्शन एंड देन द फ्रूट आर अराइज हाव एवर द प्लांट केन प्रोड्यूस द सेवरल क्रॉप्स ड्यूरिंग द इयर इफ द सोइल मॉइस्चर इज अ गुड एंड द टेम्परेचर इज अ हाई and inflorescence generally produce the ten or more spherical or oblong fruit it means generally the one not but the many ten inflorescences are present when the seed are mature the three bilobed cocci are formed in the seed are mature three month after the showing the arrangement of this seed in this fruit they are known as the bilobed wild cocci and they are the three month mature after this flowering process so they are the botanical description of this plant ke generally they are the deciduous and the tree plant the shrub is a subsculent plant in this store is the water and a generally the flower are arise in this the wet season they are the may to september and after the flowering they are the ten to more inflorescences arising and then they are this bunch bunches in form then after the july to november the fruit are formation and generally the fruit are seed they are the known as the bi wild cocci in the seed are mature after the 3 months of this flowering then we discuss about the ecological factor ke which is factor they are the favorable so the jetrofa is a perennial plant it means the generally they are the layering for this several years it can grow in the arid condition even the desert of the any kind of ground ke generally they are the does not the heavy enough water to support the growth of plant ke they are the low amount of water they are present in this ground surface it is drought it wells the pest resistant ke generally is this they are the pest resistance it mean the uh, resistance disease soil the plant can be easily cultivated even the marginal poor soils with the low nutrition content generally the plant is a required for the low nutrition period and they are the located in the edge of the desert they are the known as the marginal poor soil then the jetrofa is a fast growing plant it is highly desirable in the sense that it is not only prevent the soil erosion but they also increase the fertility of this soil के जनरली द प्लांट इज अ फास्ट ग्रोविंग बट दे आर द हाईली डिजाइबल फॉर दे आर नॉट प्रिवेंट द सॉइल इरोजन दे आर ऑल्सो यूजफुल फॉर द इंक्रीजन ऑफ द फर्टिलिटी ऑफ सॉइल जेट्रोफा कैन बी इंटरक्रॉप्ड विद द अदर केसेज क्रॉप सच इज द कॉफी शुगर फ्रूट एंड वेजिटेबल के मेनी लाइक दिस प्लांट इन दिस अल्टरनेट विद दिस क्रॉप प्लांट Jetrofa is a most successful in the drier region in the tropical with the annual rainfall is a 300 to 1000 mm it occurs mainly at the lower altitude 0 to 15 meters in area having the temperature above the 20 and celsius it can however tolerate even sun slight forest it prefer the well drier soil having the good aeration it means generally the jetrofa is a intercropped plant and they are generally grow in the annual rainfall is a 300 to 1000 mm and this lower altitude lower altitude they are the 500 m and the generally average temperature is a 20 and celsius and they also tolerate the frost reason it means they are the wet reason so they are the ecological factor of this the which type of this soil how many rainfall how many temperature and how many condition they are the required for this better growth then the cultivation jetrofa has a become very important biodiesel or biofuel crop ke they are the cultivation most of the important for this biodiesel and biodiesel fuel biofuel crop 
as stand earlier they grow even on the marginal it means they are the portion of the located edge of this desert area then the saline it means the salt are increase the acidic soil alkaline soil and the sloppy lands they are the all this reason they are the suitable for this plant they do not require the irrigation facility it means they are do not the much water for so known as the irrigation process they are compulsory and they can the flourish even in the dry land farming it means generally they are the develop in health they are the dry reason it like heat and highly adaptable so they are the cultivation process ke after the seed are for mature then they are the collected by hand and they are the most of the cultivated for the biodiesel purpose then after the cultivation of seed how to extract of this biodiesel so the zetrofa seed have a oil content of the 37 percent the oil content in this the 21 percent of the saturated fatty acid and the 79 percent of the saturated unsaturated fatty acid the seed are not edible by the human beings or the by grazer due to the present of toxic chemical it means that in this zetrofa the toxic chemical are present after the not removal of this toxic chemical they are not useful edible for the human and the animals they are the grazing of the they are the grass grazer the crop is a 15 years of life ki generally the zetrofa life is a life is a generally 15 years 50 years the first harvesting of the fruit is done after 2 to 5 years depending upon the soil quality and rainfall it means generally the harvesting period are depending on this the soil quality and the rainfall you can see this in the picture they are the zetrofa circus plant in the zetrofa circus plant in the fruit in this the seed are present they are the by wild seed we know is they are the process of this first of all the seed are collected of this dry seed then the extraction of this oil then they are the transpiration it means they are the making of the crude biodiesel and they are the water the washing tank and was the water they also use they are the process of this the making of biodiesel and the crop produce the one uh, the pro uh, crop produce by the 1015 to 100 10000 kg of the seed per hectare in the yield of the 2 to 4 tons of the biodiesel after the esterification so they are the process of this extraction of this oil then we discuss about the use of this zetrofa first of all we all know is we also know as the they are the mostly used for the cultivation the purpose of this making a biodiesel the oil when the burnt even the without bearing refund the gives a clearly smoke free flame the by product is a press cake it means the refined oil then the by product used for this cake the non edible non edible vegetable oil obtained from the plant is alternative to diesel oil since it bear the oil bearing nut it means the vegetable oil they are the fruit is a non edible so they are used in this diesel it is wisely used for the making shop it is also used for the medicinal importance the latex of the zetrofa has a alkaloid the known as the zetrophine which is anti cancer property and it is used for the treating the paralysis and depressy it means the many type of this cancer like the paralysis and depressy okay in this the alkaloid is a useful for the zetrophine and they are also obtained from the latex of this zetrofa then the root have a antidote for the snake bite okay, they are also used for the when the bite the snake so the root are the use for this antidote the juice of the leaf is used for the treating pains the twining of the plant they are used for the brushing teeth so they are the also different use like this medicinal purpose it is useful in the treating the domestic livestock for the skin disease rheumatism and psoas it means they are also used for this the skin disease then the rheumatism it means the chronic affecting the joints and they also psoas means ulcer a blue a 
A blue color dye obtained from this bark of the tree is used for the coloring cloth and fishing net. The leaves are used as the food for the tuzer silk worm. Okay, they are the leaves used for this worm. The jetrofa oil cake in this the rich in the nitrogen, potassium and phosphorus and it can be used as an organic manure. So they are the use for this. The jetrofa they are also used in the biodiesel. Then they are the in the medicinal important. They are also used for this the treating the pills and the some skin disease, some cancer treatment also used. They are the bark in for the coloring cloth, feces net and they are the very used in this cake. The government of India has a planet to plant the 30 million hectare of the wasteland with the Chetropa to produce the 16 million ton biodiesel by the 2030. So they are the government has a planning okay, in this year of the 2013 they have produced the biodiesel of this 16 million per ton. So in this lecture we discuss about the Jetrophile generally they are originate and they are the history they are most likely grow in this also indian region then the botanical description generally they are the grown in this when the soil is a arid soil and generally the is a deciduous plant and the arid condition then they are the some temperature and water minimum required then after the cultivation of this fruit then the extraction of this oil for the use of this biodiesel and they have some ecological factor to they grow better growth for this plant. So in this today's lecture we discuss about the Jetrofa origin and history, botanical description, cultivation and harvesting, extraction of oil and this some uses. So in our next lecture we discuss about the another oil yielding oil yielding plant. Thank you.